to sew together the red coverall today. Here, my zipper is super long, so I'm just going to trim it to get some of it out of the way. And I'm going to start first, well actually I should show you, I have the interfacing piece ironed onto the back already. And that does extend a little bit beyond the notch as it's supposed to. And then I pinned my stitching guideline to the front. So for the first step, I will just stitch, straight stitch around that to get it out of the way and then we'll move to the pockets. So there's my stitching guideline placed, and that's just going to show me where to sew the zipper. You can see it a little bit better on this side. Okay, so next I'm going to do the pockets, which we have here the, in, the linings with the little cutouts here. So just place those right side together at the cutouts on the front. And all you're going to do is straight stitch around at a quarter inch around that opening. And next you will clip into those corners just up to the seam. And then turn that to the wrong side of the garment. And then straight stitch on top to top stitch it right at the edge here and then go in a little bit to go down and then come back in right at the edge again. You can see it's top stitched and do the same thing to the other side. Okay, now that they're both top stitched, you will just turn it inside out or to the wrong side and then take the other pocket piece, the pocket back and place that right side together. So you'll be looking at the wrong side of the fabric. And then we will just serge these together along the three edges.
Okay, now the pockets are fully enclosed, as you can see here. And to finish that, you will just top stitch them now. And you can, you can just kind of feel that surged seam to follow along. But if it's difficult to feel, you can mark it in a few spots with a pin just to make sure you're staying on track. they're securely in place there. Okay, moving on now, we're gonna do the zipper. So to do that, you're gonna have to cut down the center front, right in between that stitched guideline you have. So that's gonna leave about a quarter of an inch of seam allowance on each side. And you'll stop about right at that notch about a half an inch before the end and then clip into the corners but don't clip in through the seam just up to it okay now we're gonna stitch our zipper guard which you have to do by just placing them right sides together and straight stitch around that curved outer edge Add about a, a quarter of an inch. And then I'll trim the seam allowance here at the curve just to reduce the bulk. And then turn this to the right side. and top stitch down that seam. Okay, now your guard is ready. So now grab your zipper. We're going to start by unzipping it just to get that pull out of the way. And this is face down, so we'll match this tape with this center front. And that's going to be matched. Usually there's about three quarters of an inch of extra zip, zipper tape here, and that's pretty ideal. If there's much more, you may want to extend this a little bit beyond the neck but I will just leave it here and then place my zipper guard on top and leave a little bit more than a quarter of an inch in between your zipper guard and the top of the neck because you'll be sewing on your neckband right there you'll pin them all together on the inside because you're gonna need, need to uh, follow that stitch guide pin right up into the corner of that seam to make sure you're stitching precisely. Okay, now I'm gonna put my zipper foot on. And starting from the bottom, Start stitching right at right on top of that stitch guideline.
Okay, after that's done, you should be able to pull it open here and expose the teeth like that. And zip your zipper up about that far and turn it to the inside of the garment. And then flip this over and you'll match this up with the opposite zipper tape. And pin from the inside again so you can follow that stitch guideline. Again, pin right down into the corner of that seam so you're stitching it on accurately. All right, so now we're gonna start from the top. Make sure that zipper guard is folded out of the way to the left side. Once you get to the zipper pull, just take your foot and needle out and reach in and pull it up so it's past your foot and then resume. Okay, now from the top, both sides will look finished. And the only portion left unfinished now is that bottom part, which you can open here. And you can close just by straight stitching across, or you can just enclose it in your top stitch, which is what I like to do. So to do your top stitch, just leave your zipper foot on and make sure that zipper guard is folded out of the way again. And just go around the zipper top stitching. Okay, once you get to the bottom, just lift your needle and foot up, turn it, and then flip that guard back underneath. So now it'll be got caught in the seam. And here you'll need to hand turn the needle just to make sure you don't break it on the teeth. So you go back and forth a couple times. and then go back up the opposite side. I'm using my thumb here to relieve some of the pressure because you'll notice the fabric wants to stretch out a little bit, but to eliminate it, you just lift that a tiny bit and then it sews pretty smoothly. Okay, zipper is fully inserted. To start the back, you just need to put the pieces right side together and serge down that center back to connect them. All right, with that connected now, we will just match the shoulder seams. Surge them closed. And open up your garment to expose the armholes here. Grab my sleeves. 
So you should have a notch at your sleeve cap center. That will get matched. You should do that face down along the sleeve hole and that notch in the, sh the shoulder seam will get matched. And you just pin those together. And then you'll pull the edge of the cap to the edge of the armhole to start your seam. And just do the same thing for the other sleeve. Okay, now both sleeves are on and the next step is going to be to just fold this whole garment together, right sides together, and match up the sleeves and the side seams. And we'll just serge that all together in one seam. You just have to be careful at your pockets to make sure this doesn't bend in and to make sure all the layers get closed in that seam. Same for the other side. And then surge the inseam closed. forgot to finish this part of the zipper. So after your zipper is inserted, you might have an excess length at the end. You just trim it so it's shorter than the zipper guard. So that covers it. So there's barely any zipper left here. And you can do a little bit of a top stitch from the top to secure around there if you'd like, or you can just leave it as is. All right, so the next step is gonna be our cuffs. We'll do the sleeves and the ankles. So with our sleeves, these are gonna be done the same way. So the, they'll, both, they'll all be folded in half, parallel to the grain line, and then surged along that edge. And if there's a right and a wrong, this is folded right side together. And then these get folded into the little cuffs. So that seam will be folded onto itself. So wrong sides will be together. And then you'll have the cuff formed. So you'll insert that cuff here at the wrist area. And make sure your seam is gonna be either towards the bottom or the back of the sleeve. So the folded edge gets placed inside all the raw edges will be lining up and you'll just stretch that cuff to fit and surge it on all the way around. Just 
just like that. And you pull it out and it should be completely finished. So do the exact same thing for the other sleeve and then both ankles. All right, now that all cuffs are completed, our last step is going to be the neckband. So you can just leave your garment inside out and unzip the zipper a little bit here to expose the neck. And then with your neck band, you'll just fold it in half. And you should have that notch clipped at the center there. So you'll just match that with the raw edges on the center back seam. And pin that in place. And then the fronts, you'll want to match with the center front, so each zipper side. And you'll want to match them just a little bit beyond that zipper tape. And then you can pin one more time by pulling pulling to fit and then pinning at the shoulder seam here. Okay, now we're just going to surge on from one center front to the other center front. Okay, now turn the garment uh, right side out so we can expose that top to top stitch the neckband. All right, here's your neck. So all you're going to do is pull that serger tail and tuck it under and then fold that seam over top of it and then start your top stitch by doing a pretty secure lock stitch at the beginning. Go around and do the same thing at the end where you'll pull it underneath and then fold that seam on top of it and then lock stitch really well at the, at the uh, center front.
Okay, now we have completed everything. You're just gonna want to iron or steam. And then that's it. Zip it up and those should meet pretty evenly at the front, at the top. And that's your completed garment.